if you want to add some excitement and dynamic movement to spice up your shots, the screen pump effect is a great way to do it. The best part is it's super easy to do and you only need to use built-in plugins in Final Cut Pro. I've already put my edit together to a music track and the first thing you're going to want to do is to identify the beats in the music where you'd like the effect to happen. You can do that by navigating through the track using your left and right arrow keys to find the beat and with the track selected, hit M to create a marker. Next, go ahead and select your clip and set a keyframe on the scale parameter. Move backwards two frames using the left arrow key and set another keyframe. At this point, it might make things easier if you show the video animation properties. You can do that by using the shortcut Control V. Then I need to move two frames past the first keyframe that I created. So I'll use the right arrow key to do that. And then I'll set another keyframe. I can come over to my inspector window and hit this little back arrow to go back to the middle keyframe and I'll set the scale over here to 115%. As it stands now, this is what that looks like. But we can make it look even better by creating some motion blur. You can use a motion blur adjustment layer if you have one, but for the screen pump effect I like to use the zoom blur effect which you can find in the blur section of your effects browser. I'll add that to the clip and I'll set the look to variable and then I'll set the amount to zero. Making sure that my playhead is on the first keyframe here, I'll then add a keyframe to the amount parameter. Then I'll move forward two frames and set the amount to about four and then I'll move forward again another two frames and I'll set it back to zero. Now, instead of having to redo these steps every time you want to create the screen pump effect, you can copy and paste these keyframes. Click on the first scale keyframe and shift click on the last one. Then hit Alt Shift C to copy them, move your playhead, make sure that the transform section is selected and hit Alt Shift V to paste them. You can do that as many times as you like for the different beats where you want the screen pump effect to take place. And if they don't quite line up, you can select the keyframes and move them into place. I normally copy all the scale parameters and get the timing right first, because then when you copy and paste the zoom blur keyframes, you don't have to move and retime those as well. Let's copy the zoom blur keyframes using Alt Shift C, and then I can quickly paste them multiple times using Alt Shift V for the other beats by just snapping my playhead to the first scale keyframe. Before I show you the final effect one last time, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button to let me know that you enjoyed this kind of tutorial. Also, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And here is the final screen pump effect one more time.